Hello to our viewers across New Zealand. I'm Philip Duncan with our Climate Watch update for the month of February, brought to you by ruralweather.co.nz and IBM. So let's take a look and see what is going on. You know, the main theme as we go into February, I guess, is what is happening with the high pressure belts around New Zealand and what is happening with La Nina. The Southern Ocean was very stormy in January. There was a polar vortex. It was quite extreme. We saw those huge low pressure systems, you know, low air pressure down into the 940s and 50s, and they were coming right up towards New Zealand. Now on this big map, there's only one of those storms and it's where it should be, right down next to the Antarctic ice shelf. The uh, map here shows high pressure in the yellow white zone and low pressure in the purpley uh, blue zone so you can see a lot of low pressure up here in the tropics uh, cyclones that's lucas and anna and uh, some low pressure dropping down out to the east of new zealand that's the way, the way they're going at the moment so we'll be seeing anna dropping down this way bringing maybe a few showers into new zealand later this week but not much um, just around the eastern side of the north island so the southern ocean's quieter we're seeing more highs pulling into New Zealand and for places like Southland and Otago that is very good news after your very unsettled summer so far this will bring in a much more settled period of weather it's not perfect but it's better than it has been and the dry weather it continues on around New Zealand so we've got a few of these uh, lows at the moment uh, this one shows them quite clearly the sort of three or four of them in a row yesterday Monday when we it was Auckland anniversary, that was the very first day of February, why our video wasn't out then. Uh, there were three named tropical cyclones all at the same time north of New Zealand. So that's a sign of La Nina. And we're seeing also cyclones coming down the western side of Australia and pulling in through the desert area. But of course, high pressure in the New Zealand area, keeping things mostly settled. So we're in La Nina still, as you can see, uh, by the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia. Very much trust the scientists over there, not commercial like NEWA is in New Zealand. So as you can see, La Nina very much uh, still around with us, but when you take a look at where it's going, Look, you can see this February pulling back towards neutral, pulling back towards neutral very slowly as we go on towards April and June. So it's definitely peaked. Now we're on the very slow slide back to normal. Um, a little bit of frustration. The Bureau of Meteorology today, we're actually releasing a new update, but it's after we're doing this video. But I don't imagine there's a great deal of change going on. But if there is, we will certainly headline it as a news story at both Rural Weather and Weather Watch. Uh, and thank you to the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia. So let's take a look now, week by week, for the next few weeks ahead to see where the highs and the lows are going to be sitting. This is a very good way of working out just roughly uh, where the blocks of unsettled weather are and where the blocks of settled weather are. So the red blocks, high pressure, a much higher chance of dry weather, light winds, uh, and hot weather. And then the areas in blue showing where the low pressure systems are, where the cyclones are, the wind, the rain. So on this map, it doesn't actually look for the first week, uh, you know, this, is, this is for today, February the 2nd, uh, it doesn't look a lot different to some of the maps we showed you in January, where there's some big storms in the Southern Ocean, 946. But remember, that's right down next to Antarctica. And because now we've got high pressure here, that stops these lows from jumping up and uh, biting us. There's a couple of lows out in the Tasman. We've been seeing a lot of those over the last wee while. The warm currents that come down the eastern side of Australia really sparking some of these low pressure systems off the east. And uh, while this high pressure belt in the New Zealand area stays here, these cyclones stay up north. So that's the first week. Not a great deal of change this week with high pressure in control. For the second week of February, again, not a great deal of change with that high pressure belt in New Zealand, certainly very strong. But here's that cyclone we uh, were talking about. For those who watched our weather video, certainly would have uh, seen this. This is coming up uh, this Sunday. This It's the uh, first Sunday of February. Yep, getting that right. Uh, we are expecting a potential tropical cyclone in the Fiji area yet again. It'll be about the fourth one in the last couple of months. Uh, so that's one to keep an eye on. There's a bit of vulnerability in the Tasman because the next high coming in is around the Great Australian Bight. The next one departing is out over the Chathams. That leaves it a bit vulnerable in here, which means there's a little bit of a chance, and I say little, like a 20% chance, that as this high departs and this low wants to move down, there might be a chance that we get some rain from that low. But the highs have been 
by default winning for the last few years with this sort of fight between low pressure and high pressure. We will see where this all goes. And again, with that high over on this side, more low pressure up to the north and the western sides of Australia. By the third week of February, we've got a bit of a change. So that storm up near Fiji from the week before with that high moving away shows now for the first time in a very long time a big area of low pressure over New Zealand and out to the east. Now this is not 100% locked in but the modelling is sort of indicating that there is a gap between the highs around about the middle part of February as we're going into that third week. So potentially that low coming out of sort of the Fiji area or another low forming in this sort of zone which will help to create some showers. Now there's not a lot of rain in this yet so you, you, you do need that low coming in from the tropics for it to really penetrate into these northern areas. Otherwise, this map here is a cold southerly blowing showers into areas that may be you know, finding it useful, but it may not be really what we want for these northern areas. Potential big tropical cyclone over here in the Coral Sea, worth keeping an eye on as well, certainly for Australia. But here's a big block of high pressure. So this is looking much more settled than it did when we updated last back in December in our last video and even our news update that we did in January. Th this was all low pressure. You know, we were seeing big storms down here. Now we're seeing some big highs. So even though, yes, maybe a little unsettled here, there is a high coming through. Our final map's only just a few days later. This is the last available map that we can get. Um, beyond this point, they start to get a little bit all over the place. But look at this. This is still showing La Nina uh, here, even without La Nina though, this is the peak of the cyclone season. This is the time of year when the sea surface temperatures are at their highest, uh, going into late February and March. So this is a breeding ground for storms. So we've got the potential of two storms or two tropical cyclones around about the 18th of February. There could be a fair bit of change in, these mod in this model as we move forwards, but it just shows you that this is the area where the storms are forming or the lows are forming. They're dropping out to the east and we've got a lot of high pressure coming in from south of Australia, which for those in Southland and Otago have had this sort of frustrating summer, things look a lot more settled for you. But we're not finished yet with these tropical lows, but these highs keeping northern New Zealand dry, they are definitely still around. So let's get into some rainfall. The departure from normal, very simple map, red is dry, blue is wet, white, normal rainfall for this time of the year. So the next seven days ahead showing February is kicking off, very dry around New Zealand, a little bit of wet weather on the west coast but really it is looking very very dry. You can see these uh, cyclones and lows in the north, that's the reason why we're getting a bit of rain in there. Same story over here on the western side of Australia. Okay the next two weeks worth of rain, this is the accumulation February 2nd right up to February 18, so just over two weeks worth. What I've done here, because these maps can be a little confusing to look at um, when you're just glancing them at a video, but in these white boxes, these are the areas with very little rainfall for the next two weeks. This area in the middle here has zero rainfall for two weeks. Now that's the Australian desert, but this pale blue area here around Northland, five millimeters. So unless we get a direct hit from one of these cyclones up here where the rainfall in this blue area is 200, 300 millimeters worth. So that's a lot of rain coming out of the tropics there. But New Zealand, under all this high pressure, keeping it dry. Even here on the west coast, the rainfall totals for two weeks. One of the wettest places on earth, Fiordland. Uh, now it is summer, but the rainfall totals are only 50, 60 millimetres of rain, maybe 80. Um, so that's not a lot. So there's very dry weather still dominating New Zealand for the next couple of weeks. The rainmakers are all up here and all across here, very close to New Zealand. So it only takes a bit of a weakening with the high and a bit of strengthening with a low. And suddenly we've got a rainmaker, but the odds are stacked against us and they have been for a while now, for a couple of years now, bringing in proper rain to these northern areas. All right, the soil moisture deficit, this is thanks to Niwa um, and obviously the taxpayers own them, so we're very appreciative for the soil moisture maps. Up here, very dry, uh, most of the North Island leaning drier than average, but as you can see, the lower part of New Zealand a little bit wetter than normal. That's the reason um, why we're getting a few people down in South uh, in the south asking for when is the real summer going to kick in, that's why we're a little bit more optimistic about what we're seeing. So the soil moisture levels at the moment, these are from uh, IBM and ruralweather.co.nz, this is showing that the mo at the moment 
soil moisture levels really across the country mostly 10 to 40 percent of where they can be the capacity of what they can get up to so it is very dry especially in these eastern leaning areas you can really see that dry lean going on further down here where you've had that rain not so much of a problem you're sort of up around that 50 60 percent and in some areas it might even be higher than that you know because you have had some wet weather off and on in some areas really repeatedly but eastern areas and also around Marlborough looking particularly dry as is Northland and Auckland all right uh, temperatures as we go through this week, this is this is just to show you a bit of an example of what's going on. You know, we show you these departure from normal maps in our weather videos. What this is showing is daytime temperatures are pretty good around New Zealand at the moment, but overnight temperatures are leaning. You know, look at these temperatures down here, five degrees, eight degrees. That's four to eight degrees below normal for this time of the year. So we're getting some cold nights at the moment, but some pretty warm days. Lack of humidity, part of the reason for that, uh, that New Zealand's not quite as cold as it could be. So the temperatures departure from normal, well, we're warmer than average. So it's hard to believe that in some areas in the south, but you're actually leaning 0.8 to 1.3 degrees warmer than average for the month of February, for the next month coming up. So you're going to feel that warmer than average weather, more so in the south. In the north, closer to average, but still warmer than you should be, 0.4 to 0.8 degrees warmer than average coming up for the month of February. But like I just showed you, the nights, still a little cold. You're making up for that. You're making up for that in more than one way during your daytime temperatures. So there we go. That's pretty much it from us for our February Climate Watch update. Uh, Basically, in a nutshell, we're still seeing a lot of high pressure in the New Zealand area. We're seeing things calming down in the south a lot more, but we're still seeing a lot of energy up here in the tropics. So until we get a break in the highs over New Zealand, we won't be getting the rain from these big storms. But the minute one of these highs goes away, I think we could be seeing rain. So it's a very interesting forecast, one to keep an eye on. That's all from me for today. We'll see you again later this month with our March Outlook.